Well, hello, my fabulous audience who I love and adore. It's me, your hostess with the mostess, <laughs> Gaia Morissette, aka Empress Gaia. Um, today, we're going to be talking about magic, though. So it's High Priestess Gaia that you got today. Um, and so what I want you to do is if you're like magic, what, what do you mean magic? So if you're used to my, like, you're looking for my saucy, sassy, sexy self, um, where I talk all about sex and kink and all the things that's not her today. Today, I'm going to talk about my magical life. Um, and for all of you that don't know, there's plenty of, I got lots of, um, backstory, episodes for you to go check out to be like okay I'm curious like where does all this come from how does how does Empress Gaia you know goddess of sex and world do consensual world domination how does magic play into our world so go check out those episodes all right um now today's episode I'm going to talk to you about how I got my mermaid vision you're like what that's a thing it is a thing so let's, where do we start? All right, you ready? So again, this is all about the, the spiritual, magical aspect of my life. Um, so I am many things in the world. I do many things and I am many things. And one of the things that I am is a high priestess of divine sexual magic and elemental magics, as well as a lot of other kinds of uh, connections to the ethers and the magical realm and energy work and a healer and all the things. Okay. So that's the woo side of my life, which in all fairness is a big part of how I move all day long. Um, even when I am in the dungeon, I'm moving from those, 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 those places of, you know, intuition and awareness and connection and my magical self is always a part of who I am. All right, it's important for you to know about me. Now, if you have other spiritual belief systems um, and you don't believe in magic, that's okay. This may not be the episode for you. Don't listen to this one. <laughs> Go listen to this. There's, 200 and probably at this point 40 other episodes so um you know go enjoy one of the other episodes where i'm talking about crazy stuff all right now for all of you are like that are intrigued and interested into my magical life and the woo that is me um hold your horses <laughs> here we go strap in and still come with the content morning <laughs> even when i'm talking about magic so I would say, when did I get my mermaid vision? Um, I got my mermaid vision probably about eight or nine years ago. And it happened to be at uh, in Costa Rica in Pavonis. And if you're like, oh, she's talking a lot about Pavonis lately. Well, that's because I have a, a wonderful retreat coming up in Pavonis that you probably want to join me and check, check out. And the, it'll be in the show notes. And we're adding new components. So it's not just going to be about kink. It's going to be uh, about awakening in some capacity or other. So uh, like I said, most a lot of magic starts in Pavonis, Costa Rica. Pavonis, not per bonus, which is how I usually call it. So about eight years ago, um, I was in one of my trips to that region that I love so very much. It activates my heart I'm deeply in love in that area. Is I'm out with uh, two girlfriends of mine, and uh, one of the one of my girlfriends is visiting with me, and the other girlfriend is a local that lives there, and she takes us to, and they call them the mermaid tide pools. Oh, wait, I got to back up. Sorry. Night before this happens. So the night before we have a full moon, we have a full moon fire ceremony on, on the beach of the ocean. And so, and I don't know if you've ever been to um, a, a, a bonfire on the beach of Pavonis, but it's like not really a fire. It's more like an inferno with all the drift logs and stuff. So it's huge. Like there's no way you're getting close to that fire that you're going to roast any wieners or marshmallows on it. <laughs> so, 
so it was a beautiful night and uh the, the moon was so bright you could see your shadow like it was that's how bright it was and um i was doing some drumming and dancing around the fire and really getting connected and connected to the moon and stuff and so i decided that i i was called to go off away from everybody um and like honor the moon and honor the ocean and honor and understand the tides and how the tides are affected by the moon and honor you know grandmother moon and and do this beautiful dance and song for her that's what for the ocean and the moon and the tides and just being you know that's what i was called to do and so uh i i've learned over the years that when i get the nudge from the universe divine god cosmos whatever you want to call that uh be that that essence um our higher self whatever it is that resonates for you for me it's the universe um when i get the call i know that it's really important to listen to it so i go off on my own and i go down the beach and i start you know i'm like dancing and singing and all of a sudden two of the guys that were at the fire they followed me with the drums i don't i don't speak spanish they don't speak english it's just what happened it's like everybody just apparently the universe just made that happen just called it in. so these two young um local guys who uh are are playing this beautiful song that's moving through them which is this beautiful song that's moving through me and i'm singing and i'm dancing with the with the full moon and with the ocean and and i am one with the ocean and i am one with the moon and i'm like crying and i'm you know i'm dancing and you know uh normally i would have been dancing naked cuz you know it's me and i'm nudist but uh in honoring of the of the conservativeness of uh that area um and i had an audience with my little with my drummers i kept my sarong on so i was wearing my sarong and it was breathtaking i i every every wave i was in rhythm with the wave my breathing was in the rhythm with the wave my my song was in the rhythm with the wave and the drums and my whole body was moving with the wave it was like and you know i was standing in the water and out of the water dancing into the water and dancing out of the water and it was just this beautiful transcendent epic moment that i didn't realize what that was going to entail for the rest of my life actually So as always, you know that's why we listen to the nudges. So that happens and it's beautiful and I'm crying because it's so beautiful and it's just like oh my heart was just so activated and so awake and my vagina was so activated and so awake and and I was I have I'm having orgasms with the ocean and I orgasms with the moon because it's me and I'm high priestess of sex magic so always often well, pretty much orgasms are always involved. So <laughs> as my honoring of the moon i gave her an orgasm and as the honoring to the ocean i gave her you know one of the gifts of my orgasms and it was beautiful so the next day i wake up and you know my girlfriend that was with me and my girlfriend that lives there she's like let's take you to the mermaid tide pools and i hadn't been to, that was one of the tide pool sections i've never been to before And so we go to the mermaid tide pools and you know they call these because there's all these treasures right there's all these seashells and beautiful rocks and this coral it's just beautiful and it's like so we go we walk out to the mermaid tide pools and we're in the tide pools and there's like you know there my girlfriend and her friend and our friend are like off in another pool beside the tide pool that I'm in and i'm like digging through the sand and i'm digging through to find the treasures of that you know that's in this tide pool and all of a sudden everything starts having like a rainbow uh glow around it so at first i'm like am i having a seizure am i 
Like, what's going on? What, why is my eyes so fucky? What is happening right now? Am I having a seizure? Uh, is something going, am I having a stroke? What is going on? And then I'm like, well, maybe I released some chemicals while I was digging in, in, and maybe I released a pocket of something that was creating this, you know, chemical reaction under the water where, you know, everything had, you know, like colors around it, shimmering colors, like a rainbow around stuff, rocks, living and in that both and living items and not living items. And so I was like, oh, so I yell over, put my head, pull my head out of the water. And I, you know, I say, is anybody seeing weird rainbow colors around things? And everybody's like, nope, we're not seeing rainbow colors around things. I'm like, I'm seeing rainbow colors around things. Do you maybe keep it, come over here and keep an eye on me to make sure like I'm not, like have something going on in my brain, right? So one of the, one of, one of the, one of my ladies came over to kind of keep an eye to make sure I wasn't having a seizure or, or, you know, having a aneurysm or something going on in my brain, but it didn't stop the, the rainbow colors. I could just see around everything under the water, everything above the water was normal. There's no colors around it. Everything under the water had colors and different colors. Some were multiple colors, some were rainbow colors. That was like all these different colors. And I was like, I think I might have like, I think this might be like mermaid vision. I think this might be like, I'm getting a gift from the universe. I'm getting a gift from the ocean. I'm getting a gift from the moon from yesterday, last night's uh, celebration that I did. And so, I just chalked it up to like this beautiful, rare occurrence in that moment, which if you're, if you're seeing this video, instead of listening to this podcast, I am uh, wearing a rock that I found in that tide pool. Uh, another girlfriend of mine who is a, a gifted jeweler, um, you know, she wrapped, she wrapped this rock for me in uh, silver so that I could wear it as a, a, you know, as an honoring and a gift that, you know, of this beautiful experience. So I thought it was just like a one-time thing, but it turns out that every time I'm at the ocean, doesn't matter what ocean, as soon as I put my head under the water, I can see, and it turns out that it's the aura of the, it's the energy and the auras of whatever's under the water. So, um, you know, living items have different versus non-living items have different colors and different frequencies. And it's like, I'm all of a sudden being able to see those frequencies instead of feel them. Usually I just feel those frequencies, but this was this beautiful gift from my, the moon and from the ocean. And so I call it mermaid vision, whether it is or not, but that's what I call it. It's like this, this gift that was given to me to be able to see under the water and see the frequencies and the essences of every living and non-living thing under the ocean. And so it still happens. Uh, it doesn't happen in fresh water. It's fascinating. It doesn't happen in fresh water. It only happens in salt water for me. Um, and it only happens in like the ocean. Um, and I've been at different oceans and it's still in different locations. And it still happens when I, you know, I'm under, under the water. Um, it makes snorkeling even more spectacular um because it's like the fish and the colors of regular snorkeling plus the the added aura of everything is like it's like my my cut my eyes get to have like this orgy of color <laughs> it's beautiful it's just transcendently beautiful so i don't know why that gift was given to me i don't know how i got it i don't know i don't i don't have the answers to any of those things i just know that i i have it I was given it to, it was given to me and it happened to happen in the magical realm of Pavonis, Costa Rica. Um, other magical experiences have happened both for me and other people. It's a very powerful magical space. So I highly recommend when uh, I invite you to come join me on this journey of going to this part of the world that you take me up on the offer. I'm going in February. And February 2023. So, um, you know, and I, this is a, a part of the world, this area that I go to, like I said, it's deeply, 
connected to my soul. And I go there quite often. So, you know, if you're like, I want to be activated, like I want to activate, activate my, your, if you want to activate your gifts and you want to activate your connection to your being in your body and you want to activate, you know, your kinky self and you want to activate the wild and unleash the wild within you. Um, I highly recommend coming and spending some time with me in uh, the jungle of, and the, at the ocean and the jungle of Pavonas. Um, I promise you it will change your life forever and for the better. So if you're interested, uh, reach out now. The other thing I want to invite you to is one of the things that I, one of the thing, many things that I do in the world is I mentor others into activating their magical gifts. That's one of the gifts that I have is the ability to help others find their calling, find their gifts, find and, and awaken it within them. I'm a catalyst. I'm an activator. So if you're like, I really want to know if I have mermaid vision, or maybe I talk to the trees, or maybe I talk to the animals, or, you know, maybe I'm a divine sexual being that has a, that, you know, does sex magic, or, you know, all the things that maybe you're a conduit, maybe you're an empath, maybe you have many gifts, and you don't know about them. Um, if you're, if you're looking, and you're searching, and you're seeking, it's important to have a guide and one that um, can help you harness without causing any injury to yourself or others. And that's my mantra across the board, no matter what I'm doing, it's all about safety, 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 safety. So I have a wonderful course as a mentorship program is called Essence um, that are in the show notes. And if you're interested in exploring and awakening and activating who you are as a magical being, um, check it out. It's uh, definitely worth it. And again, come, come spend some time with me in my natural habitat. <laughs> it's actually quite beautiful to see me in my natural habitat. Um, you, you know, for everybody who, you know, listens to me, you imagine me in my natural habitat, untamed, unwild, like unleashed, un, uh, you know, not tame and completely wild and free. It's spectacular. It's like, it's beautiful. It's spectacular. I'm, I, I'm like glowy. It's, 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 it's a, it's definitely worth seeing for with your own eyes. So if you're interested, reach out to me. You can reach out to me on all my social media platforms, reach out to me through my work, I mean, my website, guymorissette.com. Um, and uh, there's usually links in the show notes as well. Okay. So I lovingly invite you to let go of what we think is possible and allow the impossible to unfold. Because the impossible is available to us all the time. And the way we get it is by listening and surrendering. And that surrender comes in many forms. And if you know me, that comes in many forms from, you know, spanking in the dungeon to meditating in the jungle to doing dancing for the ocean because the ocean told me to do it. So surrender comes in many ways and many forms. So I lovingly invite you to surrender and allow the impossible to become possible for you. Mwah! Love you. Till next time. Bye. Hmm. Well, I hope today's episode inspired you, encouraged you, and of course, made you feel tingly inside. <laughs> I just want to take a moment to tell you how much I appreciate the time that you spend and how I really deeply appreciate you listening. I do it for you guys, the audience, and I love and adore you guys. So quick loving reminder, I am not available for naked pictures, getting married, having sex, or having anybody's babies. And when you want to spend more time with me in a professional capacity as your coach, your teacher, your educator, your facilitator, um, you can reach me at GaiaMorissette.com. That's the gateway to all things Gaia. Now, if you're like, oh. 
I really wonder what's in the extended version. <laughs> I also lovingly invite you to follow me on Instagram, which the handle is my orgasmic life podcast, where you can leave feedback and comments. Also come join me on Facebook at my orgasmic life podcast, Facebook group. And I really want to hear from you. I want to know how this show affected you. Did you, what did you learn? Was it inspirational? Did you agree? Do you disagree? Um, you know, I want, I want to know because I'm a little bit of a voyeur. So I want to know what, how am I affecting you? <laughs> so please, please, please come leave some comments. Now, if you're like, but I don't want everybody to know what I'm thinking, which is okay. Sometimes we need privacy and we need to be anonymous. So you want, would like that option. We have that. You can email my slutty assistant, Layla at Gaia Morissette.com. Okay. Listeners until next time, may your life be filled with sexy exploration and orgasmic pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs>